Well, the man who spent many years at the controls of Chopper 10 is itching to fly again. So many of you have been asking about John Massey. Folks ask us all the time. John desperately needed a liver transplant. He got a new liver just before Thanksgiving. John and his wife Evelyn sat down with 10 on your side's Don Roberts, new at six. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Three days after life-saving <laughs> surgery, Chopper 10 pilot John Massey was on his feet. The celebration continues now, nearly four weeks later. He and his wife Evelyn realize how fortunate they are. The Oregon Procurement Agency LifeNet says several thousand people are waiting right now for organ transplants in Virginia. And every week at least three die. John's journey to this point began about 30 years ago while stationed at an army base in South Korea. He got a tattoo. And it was just a little mom and pop store, you know, in Wijambu, South Korea. And uh, apparently the needle was not clean. And that transmitted the virus to me. And it takes 30 years for it to affect the liver. And by the time they can detect it, the damage is already done. John felt the first signs of trouble in a fateful month, April 2012. You remember the flight uh, when the uh, jet crashed out at Oceana? On that flight, I just started not to feel very well. John says his doctor diagnosed stage four liver failure. He was dying. In the next year, he would receive various treatments. One of the experimental drugs they put me on almost killed me. I spent a week in a hospital in intensive care for that trial, and um, I was put on the liver transplant list. John says he's got the first call to Charlotte for a possible transplant September 24th. I went through the entire process, getting ready for surgery on the gurney. I'm looking at the operating door. The surgeon comes out and says, I'm sorry, but the liver is not viable. Go home. One month later, while in Charlotte for a checkup, John says his doctor told him to stick around. A liver became available. Then... Nine o'clock that night, they'd called us and said, no, it's, it's not viable. Sorry. This Army Ranger, a commercial chopper pilot with more than 19,000 flying hours, too weak to tie his own shoes, admits he was almost ready to give up. 7,000 people a year die waiting on the list. And I'm starting to think I'm falling into that category because I could feel myself going downhill quickly. Then, about a month later, 11.30 at night, the phone rang and John thought, Here we go again. I said, okay, well, I'm not going to start exciting, you know, the excitement until I see him going to the operating room. And 4 o'clock in the afternoon, they all came in and they took him and I said, oh my God, it is happening. John and Evelyn's joy was tempered with the reality of how he was able to get a liver. The only thing that they would tell us is that it, uh, from a 28-year-old who had died in a car accident. John is hoping to be off all of these prescriptions in a couple of months, except for one, an anti-rejection drug that he'll have to take for the rest of his life. And then he's waiting for a new prescription, some new drugs to be developed to combat the virus that caused the whole problem. He still has that. My surgeon told me that, uh, uh, that I should expect to live a long life, 30 to 40 more years. He's grateful to the donor and the donor's family. Uh, it is a gift, and you have to receive it as a gift. Wow, we are so glad he's doing well and he oh. received that gift. Wow, I just can't wait to see John back here at Wavy TV mm -hmm. 10. It's been a while. John hopes his story will motivate others to donate their organs. As for when he will fly again, his goal is February. And if you'd like to leave your well wishes for John, just go to wavy.com and look for this story. You can also find links on how you can be an organ donor.